Hello, my name is Brenda, and um, I wrote Going Down the Evolution Ladder, and I'm a senior at Benjamin Banneker Academic High School. <laughs> and um, so I thought about the idea of my play by thinking about how therapists and clients uh, interact with each other. Is it weird? Is it awkward? Romantic? Is it... <laughs> lunatics and sane people. And um, the hardest part of writing about my play is the concept. And after that, it's history. And um, hopefully, I'll come back in the future and see other people in the year. So yeah. Brenda, my play. Enjoy it. Say. Take a seat. <laughs> so, how have you been? What? George, please lie down on the reclining chair. Oh, you know what? I'm going to be leaving early today, so I'll just sit right here in front of your desk. <laughs> now, what is the cause you have to depart early? Um, <laughs> well, um, I'm not quite sure how to put this, but... Articulate with words, George. I'm listening. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, um, I've decided to... I've decided to end our sessions. What? Mm. Why? Okay, um, well, a couple of days ago, before this appointment, I, I stopped having those dreams about that terrorizing monkey in my closet. And <laughs> so, I'm a new person now. I mean, the days of looking over my shoulders are over and done with. Then, there must be something wrong with you. It's a sign. What? You stopped having that dream. You feel content, and you say you don't require my services anymore. Wait, 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 wait well, 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 it's not just that. I mean, you're, you're also really expensive. You're just imagining that. I'm really economical. Thus, you are not cured. Now, now, listen, lady. I've been coming here for four years, and every time I've been coming, you've charged four fifty an hour. Exactly. Four fifty an hour, it's a deal compared to what my other clients are paying. No, no, no. I mean four hundred and fifty dollars an hour. I mean, I don't care about your other clients. Well, I suppose, but you need your sessions to be happy. You need me. No, your services are not needed. Anymore. What about your job? Home, family, and friends? Well, my family and friends seem to be okay with my decision and think I don't need your services anymore. And, well, at home, I'm not at all paranoid. And at work, at work, I met a girl. Maybe even girlfriend material. You have to stick with me. You have girl problems already. <laughs> what? You actually found a girl that likes you. Oh. You're insane. <laughs> we just met, so it's, it's nothing serious yet. You must remain with me, George. We've been through a lot together. Ever since that first day you came into my office and told me about your problem, I've made you my pet client. Did you ever consider my feelings? <laughs> I have three houses to pay off, <laughs> credit card debt, my wardrobe, the things in my office. Did you ever think? Priscilla, Priscilla, oh, our two years together have been 
helpful and pleasant. But, but I, I think I realized my problem. I mean, so I visited the Bronx Zoo yesterday, and seeing that monkey staring him right in the face made me realize, well, he's just a monkey. I mean, closely related to us humans, but just a monkey. I mean, Priscilla, you have assisted me with my problems, and for that I thank you. I don't understand. You come to me more than any one of my clients. You have to stay. I'm worried about me and you. Well, I, I really don't need you. I've never been the same. 